Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, as you can see from the title, this is The Shave is for Veterans Day 2018. Um, it is the night before Veterans Day, so, you know, that way so I can get it uh, edited out and uploaded. Anyways, um, this is the day when we remember all of those who fought so valiantly to um, protect our country. Um, and in some cases fought to save the world from absolute tyranny. Um, so anyhow, uh, so for all of you who have served, thank you very much for your service. Anyhow, um, not sure if I said that, but if I did, I'll have to say it again. Anyways, real quick, um, I was up at 70, then I went down to 69, now I bounced back up to 70. Um, now I'm at 71 subscribers. I do not know if this person is a subscriber or not. I believe he or she is. I cannot see pictures, so um, if you're watching, um, if you haven't caught on, if you haven't uh, heard me say in any other videos before, um, I'm visually impaired, and I believe that this person's name is pronounced, and I could be wrong because I use screen readers and voiceover on my phone, but it's Madamsley, or Madamsley. Um, if I mess that up, I apologize. But anyways, welcome to the channel if you are a new subscriber, and if you're just someone who drops in and checks out my videos just to check them out, well, thank you for that. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to use. Since it is Veterans Day, I'm using something. Um, everything in this shave is some, either something that I got from a veteran, or I should say a certain veteran, or they are things that reminds me of that veteran. And that is um, a man that you might have heard me speak of before, David Stamm. He fought... Um, I know he at least fought in Europe during the Second World War. I'm not sure if he fought in any other theaters of action, but um, and he was just into the outdoors and everything. And I was lucky enough to get a razor that at one time was his when he was with us. And that razor is this one right here. This is the F2, or 1960 second quarter Gillette flare tip twist open razor. Just spin a little knob if you're not familiar with these. Spin the knob, silo door is open, spin it around, close it. And just, you ain't got to crank it down, just snug it. And the blade in there is a Gillette silver blue on its second use. The soap is this, Tim's Soap. Columbian or Columbia River. Um, like I said, he was into the outdoors. He was into hunting and fishing. And when he went out in the field, whether it was to catch fish or bag game, he always took the essentials. And one of those was bug repellent, as far as I remember correctly. As far as I know, he did use bug repellent. And, um, and, uh, uh, this Columbia River, it reminds me, makes me kind of think that it would be something that he would appreciate because it's got that kind of citronella scent to it. So, you know, um, I got that soap from my friend Christian out in Victorville because he just is not a big fan of that scent. Let me get a drink of water here, guys. The soap, I mean, the brush is my um, whip dog 24 millimeter high mountain white knot in there in his tall amber handle um, Dave kind of reminded me of a um, oh his, let's just say he is tough as a badger but anyways so that's what we're going to be using so let me go ahead and let me load up here Anyways, now, 
the last video. Now this is only my will be my third shave so far this month. I shaved the last video I did was on the second of November. Um, the last shave I did back on the fifth, and I'm shaving now, which is the day before Veterans Day. Um, and I said I was gonna, you know, try grow on, try again at a goatee. Well, one of my subscribers, Abe Froman, he suggested a Fu Manchu. So I'm gonna, I don't know if it'll be quite Fu Manchu y like, but we'll go ahead and we'll do our best. Pretty decent load. So let me go ahead and wet the face and we'll get lathering. So there we go. Um, hope you all have a happy and safe Veterans Day. Um, oops, oh yeah, oh look at that. Oozed over the side. So let's just rub this one here. Now I found with this here Columbia River soap, um, the smell will dissipate, that um, citronella type scent will dissipate if you just get a little water. If you just let it sit for a few. Too bad Tim's is it still around. Um, great soap, great soap. I remember when he went away, you know. My friend Christian, he was like, oh, I gotta go check out his site. I, unfortunately, at the time, did not have any money. So, I, uh, wasn't able to go get any soaps. So, my friend, Couldn't remember what the other soap was he got, but he likes it, so that's all it counts. This Tim soap's a really, really hard soap. Yeah, guys. I'm gonna have to. I just, I've only I've only used this soap this like less than five times so far. Um, I don't get a uber thick lather from it. Get a pretty decent one. Of course, too, I'm using a badger brush with very, very soft tips. So maybe that might be a little something to it. I don't know. Okay. Good enough for government work, so to speak. Now, 
in my last video I was saying, wow, it's really warm here. I'm talking to you guys wearing a pair of sweats. I mean, wearing a pair of shorts and a, and a tank top. And here it is, what? Less than two weeks later. And uh, let my guide dog Herbie out tonight. And I got to admit, it was cold. So, going great. First pass against the, uh, with the grade. Um, so, we're finally, finally getting our colder weather, I believe. So, Okay. Now Abe, if this ain't quite the type of Fu Manchu like you've envisioned, me growing, well, best I can do so um, I used to wear a mustache like this years ago years and years ago years or years ago um, you know in here Now, you're familiar with these blades, these silver blues. They're not a dull blade. I have a hair right there. I get this one here and one right below it. And it was a little longer today, or I plucked it out. And this one, that razor blade would not take it down at all. So, I don't know what the heck's up with that. Mutant hair or something, I don't know. But you might have figured out that I'm a bit of a hairy guy. By watching my videos. Um, especially in the one that I mentioned once before that... Um, I can't remember who that was, but I got some... Interesting responses because I said that I could be if I was to let my hair grow, I could be a human mohawk. Meaning, <laughs> if I let the hair on my head grow, it could grow down the back of my neck and attach in like 10 years, attached to the hair on my back, go down my back, come around up in front, um, you know, underneath and up front, up to all the way up to here, because my hairline comes down pretty far. But just go ahead and, you know, come up here and keep shaving to where, start getting the hair to get down here. And it come up and stop right under the nose. I could call myself the human mohawk. This part's easier to hear. years ago I 
head. Hang on, guys. I need to shave. It had been a number of days. That was back in my um, more stupid days. Well, I ended up partying too hard and, um, you know, kind of neglecting the shave, you know. And um, so I. end up going ahead and let me rinse here. So I uh, had these disposables. I forget who they were made by. And um, they were just cheapies, you know. I got like two, maybe three shaves off of them, maybe four. If I shaved every day or every other day, and, um, you know, and check, to make sure my mustache was still there, my upper lip hair, um, but I uh. Go ahead and I uh, start shaving. I'm just going to do two pass tonight because I want to let all this get in nice and thick. But uh, so yeah, uh, go ahead and I shaved and. Uh, Of course, if you were a cartridge or disposable shaver at any time in your life, you know that too much whisker, you got to trim that stuff down. And I did not. <laughs> so, my friend, he was on leave from the Navy. No. <laughs> I uh, go over to where he was staying, had some friends of ours that, you know, they weren't partiers, they were older folk, but they weren't stupid. They know I fooled around with stuff I shouldn't from time to time. But, as long as I didn't act like a ass, they were cool. Well, I show up. And I've got one side of my face shaven. Just one side. And my friend is on leave for the Navy. Comes the door and he's all like, what the F happened to you? What the F's going on, man? You forgot half your face. And they said, no, I didn't, man. Um, I uh, ran out of razors. What do you mean you ran out of razors? Well, I did. I only had two razors left. And he started laughing. Because he's like, dude, you know your hair is thick on your face. What are you doing? So he went ahead and asked my friend, I said, uh oh. You guys got any razors here? 
to both my friend that got on leave out and that was out on leave and the people they was, that he is staying with. And they're all uh my friend, my older friend, he's no, I've got like a couple of razors left and um, I gotta make those stretch until I get paid. And my friend from the Navy is all like, well, I'll tell you what, dude, let's go down. I'll buy you a pack of disposables. So we go down and get me a pack of disposables. And it was like a four pack. And uh, luckily my friends had clippers, so I was able to trim it all down on the one side and then go ahead and shave it. But anyways, so that's the face. Let's see. Um... A little bit. So, let's see. It is not perfect. What? When it comes in thicker, I will have my girlfriend touch it up with my third mustache trimmer. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and rinse off here and touch up any little spots that I might miss. Oh, there's a little spot right there. I'll get that right now. But uh, we'll have her trim it all up. A little bit right there. Or getting it straightened out. Maybe I might leave this one mustache for a while. I don't think it's quite a Fu Manchu. I don't know. It might be more like a little handlebar mustache. I don't know. It's been so long since I did anything other than a goatee and mustache, so. But, you know, see how it looks, and maybe I'll leave it for a while. Heck with it. Anyways, um. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse off here and do my head, and I'll be back for the post. See y'all in a minute. Well, guys, that, I would have to say, was a pretty damn good shave. Um, face, cheeks, chin area, neck, absolutely beautifully baby butt smooth. Um, got my trouble areas pretty good. Yeah, right here which I sometimes have issues with. I mean, my Rockwell success left a little bit behind, but it took it right off that flare tip. Up here, great. And I missed a little bit there. Oh, well, what the hell. Um, just I missed a spot. I'm not too anal about how smooth my noggin is because I wear a ball cap most of the time if I'm out and about because I don't want to burn my little bitty head. <laughs> um, but no, let's talk about the gear. The Razor 1960 um, F2, which means they have, of course, 1960, the two second quarter of 1960. Um, Gillette flare tip did an absolutely wonderful job. Um, the Razor used to belong to a very special man, which I spoke of, David Stamm, um, who fought in Europe against the Nazis during World War II. Um, I mean, it just, the blade in it was a Gillette Silver Blue on its second shave. One of my favorite blades. Um, probably in my top, you know, top three blades. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, the brush, um, Whip Dog 24mm High Mountain White and the Tall Amber Handle. Love that brush. Tips are so soft. Feels so wonderful on the face. Very luxurious. The soap, um, Tim Soaps, um, Columbia River, which has a bit of a citronella scent, but, you know, may kind of put me in mind today. Um, so let's go ahead and let's use some witch hazel. Tim Soap. He's been out of business for, for a minute, so... I don't think you're going to have that easy a time finding it. So if you have some unopened, you might be and you don't really 
not real enthused about it, scent wise, whatever. You could probably flip a full tub, a full unopened tub of it, or a tub that's very lightly used. You probably go ahead and probably get back what you said, what you paid for it. I don't, I don't doubt that. Um, some people probably could sell, you know, you could probably sell it for more, but you know, um, me. I was selling one, I just sell it for what I paid for it. But that's just me. Um, but yeah, if you don't like it, you know, I'm sure somebody will buy it for it from you. So you'll at least get your money back, unless it's like almost gone, then yeah, eh, so be it. Um, so the witch hazel was Dickinson's. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use some. Um, Aftershave Balm, almost out of this one, it's Nivea for Sensitive Skin, Cooling, Aftershave Balm. My son right now is sick, he's got a head full of boogers, and uh, came down sick Friday, I had to keep him home from school. Um, but, yeah, we've been dosing them up on cough syrup and I think it's children's dime tap, I'm not sure, but dosing them up on children's cough syrup, cold medicine and liquid Tylenol for the aches and pains that he's been getting. He's been running a low grade fever, so. It's no reason we've been hitting him with the Tylenol and seems to be doing better and he's just now at the point where um, he's getting easier to blow the nose with because before it was like, you know, you got to use one of the sucker balls to get the boogers out of him. But now he's at the point where he blows his own nose, thank God. Uh, very happy about that. And he's starting to figure out that blowing the nose is very, very effective. Um, the aftershave, because Dave was an outdoors kind of guy, um, and Columbia River is kind of a outdoorsy place. Brew Green, original Brew Green. Well, I don't know if it's very original, but it's the actual Brew Green. Oh yeah, it's got some, hmm, it's got some bite to it. Mm. Probably just too much of the stuff, but the scent don't last long at all. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just remember my brother, he was saying that my friend Christian, he gave my brother a bottle of the, an unopened bottle of that Florida water. Um, he got a bottle for me too, but it, he's put together a package he wants to give me. But he gave my brother the Florida water when he was out here. And we was watching that Crown Jewel from Saudi Arabia at the WWE pay-per-view. Um, on the network, and we're watching it, and we was talking, and he's all, uh, you've never tried that stuff, that, 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 that aftershave that Christian gave, gave me, have you? I said, Florida water? No, never tried it, Christian's got a bottle of it for me, and I'm going to be getting it with a package he's putting together for me, and he's like, oh, that's cool, man, but, oh, dude, because he's growing a full, he's got a full face beard, or he's growing in a full face beard, and and, you know, he's been growing it for a while and, and, you know, so he just shaves the neck and the cheeks. And he's all, man, I use that stuff and I put it on my neck after shaving. And he said he saw in the mirror every muscle and vein on his neck just like, whoa, bulged out. He's all, my God, it's like, it felt like I put gasoline on my neck.
he's got a really sensitive neck. Um, um, he always has just as just really sensitive. And he said when he put that on there, it just fired him up. But anyways, that's um, Curtis. If you watch this video, brother, I'm not laughing with you. I'm laughing at you. <laughs> anyways, um, that's the shave, guys. You all know how to get hold of me. Um, anyways, I hope you all have a good one. I hope you all enjoy your Veterans Day. Once again, if you have served in the military, um, thank you so much. Anyways, uh, that's it. Goodbye, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.